Let's music. DVGB. Yo, dig what it do? Welcome to the channel, man. Y'all know what it is. Your boy D, man. Am I lying? Though, listen, man. If you have people in the Colorado area that you have not seen in a long time, or people you know from there, family, friends that you haven't heard from in a while, Check up on your people, man, because this story here, oh, man, 115 dead bodies found, man, unaccounted for, unspoken for, man, listen, let me read something. A state document, meanwhile, alleged funeral homeowner John Hoffer tried to conceal the improper storage of corpse, right? And this is according to the state suspension letter dated on uh, on a Thursday. Hoffer acknowledged that he had a problem, quote unquote problem. The document did not elaborate on the alleged and proper storage of remains, but the facility's registrations has been expired since November. No one had been arrested or charged. Text messages to the funeral home seeking comment when unanswered. No one at the business has picked up the phone and there's no one working any voice, no working voicemails. I'm just saying, man. Matter of fact, check this out. On October the 4th, investigators from Fremont County Sheriff's Office and the Colorado Department of Regulatory Agency discovered over 115 deceased bodies stored in the Return to Nature Funeral Home at 31 Warner Drive in Penrose, Colorado. Without providing too much detail to avoid further victimizing these families, the air of the funeral home where the bodies were improperly stored was horrific. To give you an idea of the scope of this search, the area to be searched is over 2,500 square feet. With regard to the investigation, there have been no arrests to date, and we don't want to speculate about arrests or possible charges at this time. With the number of decedents we have in this facility and the identification process that needs to be completed, this could take several months. I want to assure everyone that the loved ones in this facility will be treated with the utmost care and respect. Our hearts go out to everyone impacted by this tragedy, and we will take every measure possible to get families the answers they deserve. Yeah, I'm just shocked as y'all too, man. This is seriously weird. You know, 115 bodies though, like how can you have 115 bodies? The only thing I can think of is that they were supposed to, um, I guess, bury or dispose of the bodies or whatever the case may be, and they didn't do it. Took the family's money and just ran with it. You know, or do they got something else going on? You can't trust nobody nowadays, man. Am I lying, though? Comment, like, subscribe, man, and make sure you share if you like it, man. If you like it, like it. If you don't, don't, you know what I mean? Either way it go, bad or good, leave a comment. It's your boy D, man. And as always, love the life that you live, man, and the loyalty that's within it. Peace. The warriors address it, they suffer regain order. The boss comes first, the rest is added on it. The warriors address it, they suffer regain order. The boss comes first, the rest is added on it.